it may only be March but EastEnders has already started teasing its big Christmas Day storyline. Stacey Slater, played by Lacey Turner, Kathy Beale, Gillian Taylforth, Sharon Watts, Letitia Dean, Linda Carter, Kelly Bright, Denise Fox, Diane Parrish, and Sookie Ponesar, Balvinder Sipple, had a few too many drinks during a lock-in at the Queen Vic with the fun-filled scene followed by a flash-forward which showed the women looking stunned at a body on the floor. As predicted, there has been plenty of speculation and already, BBC viewers feel like they've cracked the case. Warning, this article contains spoilers from East Tenders. The women of Walford Haven had the easiest time in recent months so it's no wonder a lock-in was needed at the Queen Vic. Stacy and Kathy are in a similar boat, stressed, overworked and worried about money. Sharon is conflicted regarding her feelings for Keanu Taylor, Danny Walters, whereas Linda is grieving the love of her life Mick Carter, Danny Dyer. Then Therese Denise who has been contemplating having an affair with Ravi Gulati, Aaron Thayera, and Suki is once again living with her coercive controlling husband Nish Banasar, Naveen Chowdhury. Ken Bruce pays tribute to fans in emotional final Radio 2 message they all cheered for men getting what's coming to them in a jokey manner but the next moment took fans to Christmas Day 2023. Sharon was notably wearing a wedding dress with splatters of blood, Stacy had blood on her hands and Denise was holding a broken bottle, as they stood around a male body on the floor. The others were gathered around in shock as Sharon checked for a pulse and informed them that they were dead. The events around what happened in the lead-up to the murder aren't yet known, but EastEnders fans feel they already know how it played out. At the end of 2022, Nish was released from prison after a 20-year stint behind bars for murdering a neighbor he thought Suki was having an affair with. She was falling in love with Eve Undwin, Heather Peace, just as he was preparing to come home which put a stop to their romance. Before Nish and a reluctant Suki went through with a marriage blessing, Eve confronted her, saying she couldn't go through with the ceremony as she's cheated on him. Little did they realize that someone was listening in, who turned out to be Suki's son Vinny Panesar, Shiv Jaloda. She was able to convince Vinny not to tell his dad, lying that it was a random man who she simply had an emotional connection with. Beyond Paradise viewers heartbroken at tribute to Ruth Maddock, tribute Denise Welch emotional as she announces she's a grandmother, reaction EastEnders affair uncovered as Callum makes Denise and Ravi Discove. Theory, taking to Twitter, viewers have theorized the killer won't be any of the women in the Queen Vic but Vinny as he discovers the extent of his dad Nisha's abuse and lashes out. It is then left to his mum and her friends to try and cover up the murder. One fan tweeted, Prediction, because Ash is going and she can't be Nisha's potential killer anymore. It should be Vinny. He'll begin to, hopefully, realize his mistake in letting Nish live on the square and possibly kill him to protect Suki. Another agreed, if it was Vinny dead in the fast forward, I think Suki would be far more upset. But if has the killer then her reaction might make sense and if it's a fight between Vinny and Nish that the other girls try to break up it explains why they get injured slash blood on them and Suki does it. So could Vinny be capable of murder and will Suki have to see another son go to prison? East Enders is available to watch four nights a week on BBC One and BBC iPlayer.